standing here with Han. Good to see you again. Yes, hello. Nice we've, to see you again. We've talked last year here at the Bricks am Meer in yeah. Bad Zwischenahn. And this year you brought an amazing build. And this is an awesome scale. So first of all, which scale do we have here? It's about 1 to 11. 1 to 11. So really big. I think Legoland is 1 to 20, right? It's could be I, I don't know okay but I mean I've, this is a little bit bigger yes it, it is bigger and it is awesome so um, before we talk about the structure let's talk about the cars we see here so the yellow one what can you tell us about it this is built for a, a competition by the Dutch a and WB also the what is, I don't know what is in English the car help so we have a problem with the car, they come and fix it. In Germany we would say ADAC. <laughs> that's correct, yeah. So that, that's what I built for the, the competition. It was a child's competition, so I didn't expect to win. I didn't win. I don't care. I just made a nice car. It looks stunning. And we have a second car. This is an old timer. That's an old timer. It's Everything here started with that car. So it's a Model A Ford. It was for a competition. It's made by our group of Lego addicts. We had to build a dragster. And I found this one was running in Australia as a drag racer. So I thought that would be a nice idea to make it a Model A drag racer. So it was full of engines and everything, so it didn't look as nice as it does now. And after the competition, I took out the engines, the motors, and built an interior into it. This is a great story. And so because of this build, you had the scale for the whole layout. Yes. So the, the size of the car was prede predetermined by the competition and that amounted to about 1 to 11. And then I started that car in the same scale and I need something, a backdrop. And the house is in the town where I live. It's one of the oldest houses there. It's from 1631. And the state that it's shown here is around 1900. So this is a real building, so you found yep. it in your city. Where, where do you live? In Koevoorden, the Netherlands. So there right. you can find the real build, yep. and this is the Lego version of it. Um, I like all the details. So um, was it difficult to put all um, the, the, the structure here, to add all the structure? Yes. So when you look at the, the back side, you see a whole mess of things to make the front side look very nice. And you have to calculate everything correctly so that it doesn't have any seams in it. So there's a lot of thinking in it. So when you try to order uh, 10 tiles right now, and there are no tiles left because you have to use them here. I have, I have a lot of tiles, I ordered a lot of pieces, a lot of 10 bricks. And luckily they weren't that expensive at the time. So this, I started this build about three years ago. It took me about a year. And I took it to Lego World in the Netherlands, and it hasn't been to Germany before, so that's why I decided to take it here th this year. Here we go, and what I like, you use these old figures from the 70s. Yeah, because there's heads on the actual building, and only these heads are about the right scale. So that's why I took them and put them in there, because they have to be there. Which detail do you like most of this build? The part above the window, the, the arch, yeah. it took a lot of thinking and I think it turned out pretty nice. You use Technic parts for it? Yes. And there's a, a rigid hose in it to keep it in the, the round shape and then click everything on it, onto it. And there is one detail I really like, those chairs, um, which looks great. So again, um, Do you have um, any inspiration for those or was it just um, some parts flying around? I started fiddling with some parts. I need the chairs and technically they're not allowed in this shape. So oh, illegal. <laughs> it's an illegal build according to the Lego rules. But We don't care. Exactly. So, I mean, normally when I see such a layout, I would ask the builder, hey, would you like to enlarge the scene? Would you like to add more buildings? So... I would like to ask you again, but I know how difficult it would be to add more buildings, but is it a plan of yours? There is a part when I can add a building. Behind the fences, I want to add a building, but I have no idea what building it's going to be. It has to be of my hometown, of course, 
but I have not decided what building it would be. But so, it's a future project. So first you need some inspiration and then you need the bricks and then you will build. Yes. First I need to decide what building is nice enough to put next to this one. Because this is one of the nicest buildings in my town. This looks great. The whole layout is fantastic and I really would like to see more uh, structure in the future. Han, it's so good to see you again uh, and thank you so much for showing us this yep. great layout. Okay, thank you. It's nice seeing you again as well. See you around next time. Han. Yeah. Bye bye. <laughs>